got team coverage on the high surf. Meteorologist Jonathan Novak is tracking the tides. First, we go out to Fox 11's Christy Fajardo in Ventura on those wild waves. Christy. Yeah, and this was no ordinary rogue wave. In fact, Ventura County Fire is still assessing the damage. Take a look here behind me. Several businesses were flooded. So were homes. This hotel, though, got the worst of it. In fact, if we pan that way, you can see what it used to look like. There was actually glass barricades there. They're all gone on this side of the hotel. And the water actually came over the wall and crashed through those hotel rooms. And there were people inside at the time. Ventura County Fire says in all about eight people were injured. Luckily, no one was hurt seriously, but even a lifeguard had to be rescued. No. Neighbors try to outrun a monster wave as water gobbles up sand dunes and fills the road. They had been on the beach despite the danger because of this man, the one wearing a wetsuit. Just minutes earlier, the lifeguard had been caught up in the tide after trying to rescue a surfer. Thank you, God. He crawled up and, you know, we told him you're alive and you made it. Neighbor Kim Lamberg shared this video of the man finally on the shore near Dover. They don't know where she's at. Or she and other neighbors had seen his yellow helmet bobbing in the surf and had called 911. They had just gotten him out when they were hit by a wave. The biggest wave of the day came in and caught all of us off guard because we weren't paying attention to the ocean anymore. We were around a human. So anyways, it was really heavy. We left. We evacuated. It may have been the same set that caused all of this damage at Inn on the Beach on Seaward. Firefighter video shows the aftermath. One swell was so powerful, it pushed a tree and water right through protective glass. Maintainers three to four foot depth until it hit this ball and bounced over from Sky Fox, you can see the extent of the damage. Flooded streets, flooded homes, even cars were swept up in the surf. And as crews clean up the mud and move the debris, firefighters brace for more and have this warning. Stay away for your own safety because these waves still are pretty high and can impact you without you if you're not paying attention. And Ventura County Fire says the beaches are still closed. And take a look here behind me. You can see how far in the water went. They're still cleaning up the mess. And firefighters are planning to have more firefighters beefing up staffing tonight because there's still a high surf advisory in place for the next two days. So they're very concerned about what could happen. In the meantime, as for that lifeguard, we are told that he went in near the pier to rescue a surfer. At some point, the two got separated, but luckily both were rescued and we're told both are okay. Live in Ventura, I'm Christy Pajardo. Let's send it back to you. We are relieved to hear that. Cannot believe the size of those waves. Okay, Christy, and the power. Thanks so much. Well, not just Ventura, Orange County beaches are seeing plenty of big waves as well. A high surf advisory is in effect through the weekend. Waves could reach up to nine feet. Watch out for coastal flooding and riptides. Taking out of Santa Monica right next to the pier. Take a look at this flooding part of a bike path in a parking lot underwater. Sky Fox was there just before noon today. The crowds were gathered to watch the high surf. Meteorologist Jonathan Novak, I heard you sort of gasp when mm. you saw the damage that yeah. all Mother Nature caused today. Yeah, even knowing that it's going to happen, just to see it, it's just a, a, a incredible uh, sight. Unfortunately, we're going to have to repeat it. It looks like going into the weekend. Let me tell you what's going on right now. Let's take a look at our wave heights. Uh, these are the current wave heights, and you can see as you get toward western Santa Barbara County and even into southwestern Santa Barbara County, some of the wave heights are up around 15 to 20 feet, and as you get into Ventura County, they've actually subsided a bit. <clears throat> some of that energy, as you look at the loop on this, some of the energy has slid to the southeast and gone toward closer toward L.A. County and Orange County over the last several hours. Now, as we go in through Saturday morning, we anticipate another swell that will be moving in, possibly more from a westerly direction, which will keep that threat in the west-facing beaches of Ventura County, where there is a coastal flood warning that persists, you can see here, until Saturday night for sig more significant flooding.
of roadways and, of course, dangerous rip currents and, of course, high surf up to about 20 feet. Because of that, there is a high surf warning still in effect until Saturday for this area. In particular, this west-facing portion of Ventura County coastline from Ventura Pier down to Ventura Harbor with a second swell coming up the first half of this weekend. There's that high surf warning, and that is for, again, surf up to about 20 feet for west-facing coastlines. That also includes western Santa Barbara County. This is a high surf advisory for the south coast of Santa Barbara County and for L.A. and Orange Counties. We just mentioned that in the last story. That's for surf up to 12 feet. That also goes through Saturday. One of the reasons is that we are having these big swells are these storms that keep one after another moving through into the Pacific Northwest. But this next one has dug deeper, which means there may be more of a westerly component, which would send that energy closer in to Ventura County in a more a significant fashion for Saturday morning. Just a quick look. That storm also brings us rain for Saturday. But what happens for New Year's? I will detail that forecast. There's a lot going on in the weather world. <laughs> That's in the seven-day outlook a little later on. For now, we'll toss it back to you. And the Bay Area is not immune. Look at this. Big waves pounding the entire California coast. This is Pacifica on the San Francisco Peninsula, a little farther south. Flooding hit Santa Cruz County as well. Officials also issued an evacuation warning for coastal areas, telling people to be prepared to leave immediately if an order goes into effect. You can track the weather in your neighborhood anytime with the Fox Weather app. It is available to download now.